Welcome back to Jesse's Performance. It's another week here at Jesse's Performance. They feel like they all run together to me anymore, but before I know it, it's Saturday and I've got to make another video. And it never fails. Every Saturday, it is windy. So it's super hard to record outside because of the wind. But anyways, this week we were working on Rick 72 Camaro. We um, got some progress made on the 55 Bel Air and we got Chad's Chevelle in. We're gonna work on getting that one ready for LS Fest East as well. So we'll give you kind of an update on, on all of those cars. And then Jesse has been staying, Jesse and Kyle have been staying late nights and getting the roll cage put together for the Transmero. We've made a ton of progress on that and it's looking amazing so far. So are you ready? Here we go. Are we live? So last week we talked about how we put the front subframe together for Rick's 72 Camaro. We got the front subframe put in and now we're working on getting the rear torque arm all installed and, and everything put together underneath the car so that we can start fabricating the turbo kit. In some previous videos, you've probably seen some clips of the 55 Bel Air that we've been working on. The customer at last minute added a supercharger, so it's taking us a little bit longer to get that one done, but we are working on fitting up all the boost pipes and everything. They're just about ready to get welded together. I think they actually are ready to get welded together. And then this car is almost done and we can ship it back to Colorado. It's gonna be really cool. It's pretty old school. We don't do a ton of old school stuff, but it's always good to do different things and change things up. That way, every car that leaves our shop doesn't look the same. All right, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a 70-something Chevelle. Uh, no, it's it's Chad's car. He's a really good friend. He helps out around the shop, and he's just a good guy. So um, I'm going to do a real nice job on this one for him. But it's getting a uh, six-liter. Uh, LQ9 with 243 heads. Uh, it's gonna have like an Edelbrock intake, a big Borg Warner um, turbo, the one off of uh, the Cat Eye blue truck that we had, the badass little blue truck that burnt to the ground. Well, the turbo was 100% salvageable, so we're gonna put that, we're gonna see how it does on this car with the six liter. Uh, it's gonna have a pretty badass 4L80 in it. We are building the 10 bolt. It's going to be like a street driver. It ain't really ever going to get traction, so the 10 bolt will be fine with a good set of axles and gears in it. Uh, new posi unit. Uh, it does have the full Ritex suspension kit on it already, and a powder coated frame, and a, a quick ratio steering box. He had bought some Dakota digital gauges, I think is what he bought. And uh, he put the shifter in. It's got a little B&M uh, shifter in it. It's a pretty nice job. And he's got the car all prepped for us. He did all the hard stuff and all the dirty stuff, so. Uh, yeah, we're ready. This thing should be real quick, but I'm excited to get it to LS Fest East. Uh, he came with us last time. He looked really eager to get a car out there. So I said, hell, I don't like sleeping. So let's just put a little more shit on the pile. All right, all right, all right. Uh, as for our last video, we were gonna uh, build like a 25X cage for this car. Um, kind of make it a tube chassis deal. Maybe, or maybe not leaving the front alone. Um, I'm not there yet, but uh, Kyle and I have put a lot of hours into this already, like three really late nights. I was here till four in the morning a couple nights, um, and this is as far as we got. Um, we we kind of we kind of tacked up the floor first, um, and then I decided that we need to make us like a little frame table. And I watched a Tim McAmos video, and he said this is. This is adequate. This is this is what guys at home should do. So I went to the metal store and I got some two by three tubing, and I squared it up and welded it up, and uh, we put it on a pre-existing cart we had so we could move this thing around because it's a big old hunk of metal. And uh, it's pretty exciting because this is this is further than I've ever taken a car like this, like cutting the floor and cutting the car completely up. I've done a lot of roll cages and a lot of suspension stuff, but never made it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really excited. Uh, we're gonna do a four link on the car now instead of a, a torque arm suspension, just because I don't wanna have regrets of not doing a four link later.
right, y'all, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Make sure you tune in every Sunday at 8.30 to our YouTube and our Facebook for updated videos. I am going to skip next week. My mom is coming into town for my birthday and I have not seen my mom in two years. So I am gonna skip a week. I apologize, I hate to miss a week. Make sure you tune in the last weekend in May, Memorial weekend, and we will have another video then. Thanks for watching. This was way better than doing it in the car. It was worth all the extra thousands of dollars. <laughs>